Ladies and gentlemen, here we go again with another draft video for the Chicago Bulls. Now, we've already talked about the main prospects that could be in the Chicago Bulls priorities for this for this draft. Now, let's go and look at some of the sleeper picks, the talents that might not be talked about as much, but can definitely be someone that might be able to contribute to the Bulls if they get selected with the fourth pick. The first person I want to talk about is Killian Hayes. Let's do it. What's up, everybody? It's the Aiden Sports Show. Welcome back to another video. Today, we've got another NBA draft video for the Chicago Bulls. And today, I want to talk to you about a player that could potentially be making an impact if he does get selected with that fourth pick of the NBA draft. Today, I want to talk to you about Killian Hayes. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on. Uh, thank you to uh, Diamond Armor for a very good idea that he's given to me in the comments of my last video, a mailbag video for the Chicago Bulls. This is something that I've been thinking about for a while, but now that it's actually coming to fruition, there could be a potential of this happening. If you guys have any questions you'd like me to answer in an upcoming video, please let me know in the comments below. If there isn't any, I will try and delay this as much as possible until I do have enough that I can answer everything. But that is a very good suggestion. And of course, I do want to get more interaction with the commenters of my videos. More than just replying to comments, I actually want to make videos about them. So if you have any questions or any statements that you would like me to see, please let me know in the comments below. But enough about that. That will be for another time. Today, let's talk about Killian Hayes. Killian Hayes is a point guard out of France. Now again, that might be ringing alarm bells for a lot of people because they do see that we might not need a point guard for this NBA draft. But I do want to talk about him because in my opinion, he is one of those sleeper picks that if the Chicago Bulls do pick up with the fourth pick, could instantly make an impact for the Chicago Bulls. There are a number of strengths and weaknesses to Killian Hayes' game and a lot of people actually don't give him enough credit compared to the likes of LaMelo Ball just because his name is not that much out there compared to Lamella Ball. Killian Hayes is a great um, NBA prospect and for a lot of people he's considered very high on a lot of people's boards for the NBA draft and there has to be a reason for that. That's why I'm going to talk to you about him today. Of course coming out of France it is another European player, a player that is not from America. We see more and more of these talents every single day when it comes to the NBA. More and more, more and more every year are European players dominating in the NBA which slowly changes it into a very diverse NBA league. It's not just Americans. It is becoming very, very global. And the best players in the world are not all Americans anymore. So that's 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 the way that the NBA is heading, man. We're getting more diverse. We're getting more and more NBA talents across the world. And I think that's a benefit for everybody involved, man. The more talented, skilled players that you have in the NBA, the better it is to watch it. The better the teams are. The better, the, the more money that comes in as well. And I do think Killian Hayes could definitely add and contribute in that way. Of course, when you think about Killian Hayes, what do you think about? Well, in his French, um, in the Euro, in the European leagues, I believe he averaged 12 points and six assists, which is not not it's not the worst thing in the world. It's definitely no 20 points that you would see in America, but definitely it looks like it is very tough over there to score. And um, definitely it does show. Now you obviously have very, very good links, even uh, the likes of Denny that's been averaging around similar stats that could potentially be available for the fourth pick. So the stats are definitely not something that you just say, no, that's not good enough. Because in the end, it, it doesn't seem to be that bad according to what a lot of people do think of him. He's clearly a highly touted player. And the stats, in my opinion, do not reflect everything. Of course, the eye test is what people want to see. What is his strengths and weaknesses? One of the biggest strengths of Killian Hayes, in my opinion, is his playmaking. He seems to be a very high IQ type player. He can run the floor. He can probably finish around the ring a little bit. But his playmaking, in my opinion, is something that could be extremely, extremely valuable to this Chicago Bulls team. We are looking for a playmaker. He could definitely fit that build for us. But of course, there is more to his game than that. He is 
a decent defender in my opinion. That might not be the most popular thing to say about him, but in my opinion, he is probably a better defender. He is definitely a better defender than Lamella Ball, but he's definitely a good defender in my eyes. He could stop a play. He could um, he could probably guard the best point guards. But in my opinion, what really strikes me with Killian Hayes is that he is a player that no one really knows that much about if unless you focus on the Euro League, but is somehow being so credited for everything that he's done. There's clearly a talent there. That, again, if you're looking for a player like Lamella Ball or even to an extent a Denny, there is talent there. And it's all about the way that the Chicago Bulls can nurture and develop this talent to try and reach the best possible outcome for the Chicago Bulls. Of course, there are weaknesses to his game as there are for every single candidate that we will go for. Weakness in his game, I don't think he's that great of a shooter. I know he averaged 12 points per game, but I don't think he's that great at shooting the ball. I don't think he's that great at actually creating his own shot. And that is a big weakness in today's NBA. A lot of NBA point guards are required to get buckets. That is what the point guard position for a lot of teams now is basically what it is. You're setting up the plays. You are the team. You run the team. You have to score and you have to assist. You have to average a certain amount and you have to um, you have to contribute in a certain type of way. The NBA point guard has developed from so, so much over the past few years. And you are actually required to be a good scorer if you wanted to be a very good point guard in this league. It's not all about assists. The Rondo days of being a superstar seems to be behind us. There's not many superstars today that just gets assists or just defends you have to do a lot of things in the NBA and I do think Killian Hayes will need to work on that from the beginning to actually develop that into these game he's not coming in there like a Trey Young or a Luka Doncic he will have to work on his game to get better at it and then he could be an elite point guard of course the question I always ask in every single NBA video related to Chicago Bulls would I take Killian Hayes with the fourth pick of the NBA draft to be honest I don't think I would, and that's not saying that he is not up to the level of a fourth pick of the NBA draft. I do think he's very talented. A lot of people actually think that he could even get into the top three. Sneaky suspicion here and there. But of course, in my opinion, he is a player that would probably be below the fourth pick, probably have to move down a little bit, and I don't see the point guard position being the 100% priority. Obviously, LaMelo Ball, in my opinion, is the better player compared to Killian Hayes. And if we do get LaMelo Ball, I do think that's the exception to the rule of a point guard because I don't think LaMelo Ball is just a point guard. I see him as a very diverse one through three player. I'm not sure if I could say the same thing with Killian Hayes. I believe he's six foot five. Again, if I'm mistaken, I will fix my, my mistakes. But he is not a player, in my opinion, that is a versatile type of player. I, I see him strictly staying to the point guard position, and that could definitely be a place where maybe we don't want to take that risk. Because there is, and I always say this, even though with Lamella Ball, I really feel like Kobe White's development won't be stunted at all because... Again, he's versatile. He could be playing a small forward position, Lamelo Ball. He definitely can. He's six foot eight. He has the everything in the book. He's very tall. He's versatile. He's athletic. There is as there is an element of Lamelo Ball can can play the three position, and we can play Kobe White. But of course, with Killian Hayes, that definitely is not going to be uh, a solution unless we move Kobe White to the shooting guard position. Then you're having a very undersized small forward and Zach Levine playing that position as well. In my opinion, this is something that if the Bulls did do it, I wouldn't be too surprised or shocked. I don't see this being the main priority for the Chicago Bulls. I do see him getting a workout for us. I do see him getting a training session with us. And I do see them being very impressed with him. But I don't think that this is going to be the end or be all situation for the Chicago Bulls. Again, he is a player that I would like to see. There are comparisons out there saying that he's the next Frank Nierkiller. And to be honest, I don't want that with the Chicago Bulls. But in the end, I don't believe in those comparisons. But whatever you want to think, you guys feel free to think. I really think that if we do bring him in, then Kobe White would probably get development, get stinted, get stunned. And he would potentially be um, a player that would definitely start over Killian Hayes. 
but maybe won't get enough minutes because we already have so many point guards. But in the end, you guys are free to believe what you want to believe. This is going to be a relatively short one. I really wish, wish, I really wish I knew more about him coming into this instead of just doing the research now. Because as much as the highlights, all I can watch all the highlights in the world about a player and they can make him look like they're the first pick in the NBA draft without a question. But of course, it's very different. I like I know LaMelo Ball because at least I've seen him play with Killian Hayes, I haven't seen much of him, and that's why this video could be extremely correct or extremely flawed, and hopefully it is the uh, the first option. I want this video to be good. I want this video to be knowledgeable. And if you guys agree with me, I would love to. I would love you to let me know. But of course, if there are things that I am just not really talking about correctly, feel free to let me know in the comments as well. Anything is welcome. Criticism is welcome. Um, and maybe if you agree, that's welcome as well. Of course it is. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Again, just to make sure that you guys know, I will be doing a mailbag video for the Chicago Bulls, basically a Q&A video pretty much in relation to the Chicago Bulls. Uh, so if you guys want to leave your comments below, uh, feel free. I'll try and delay it as much as possible until I have enough questions and answers. That I that in this vi in that video because I don't want it to be a two minute video after all I want it to make be at least in the realms of there's actually a lot of questions here but of course you got to start from somewhere a very good idea and let's get this done have a wonderful day take care and peace.